We're, we are going to be playing some Madden so Ultimate Team. Yeah, I'm with my friend, but he isn't playing Madden. My mom wants you. Oh, okay. And they'll keep it on the ground with Bell. And he takes it across midfield. Be right back. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. Really tough drive, but that run helped salvage something there because now there's something positive that came out of it. We got to see good blocking, good push by the offensive line, wide receiver trying to get involved, a good run by the back. Alright, so guys, after this game, I gotta go eat. So after this game, this video is gonna end. Okay, guys, I'm sorry, it's not gonna be a long video. That was just third and inches. No reason to dance around in the backfield and try and break off a bigger play. Just gonna pick up the first down, and that's exactly what he did. They'll run it with Bell, and he's gonna fight his way forward here for a modest game. Now whistles come in. We're gonna get a timeout here by the offense. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Play number six on this drive. Season. It's session. Incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move all over the place to try and find good matchups, and they had one. They were just unable to complete the pass. To throw is Brady, eluding the pressure right. It's caught, Jones. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Julio Jones with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Patriots add on to their lead. And it's up. It's good. Our score, 14-6. well now to kick it away after the touchdown on the return here's Tyler Varga and it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29 yard line the Eagles offense now gets set to head back onto the field and with time quickly fading here in the second quarter not sure how aggressively offensively they want to play this I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted, thrown back across his body. Picked off by the Pro Bowler, Marcus Peters. And now out come the Patriots. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. Tyreek Hill on the return. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Out come the Eagles now as he'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors. But overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up. And we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. Well, a well-executed blitz, no doubt. Great job by the linebacker. Maybe the quarterback, if he could have seen that, could have audibled there. Yeah, he needed to be in a different play because that one just meshed perfectly for the defense. All the gaps were filled, except for the one the offense really wanted to run through. And that was filled by a big man wanting to make a tackle. And he made a great tackle. 
On second down, here's Rodgers. This one complete to his fullback out of the backfield. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup, and that'll bring up a third and one. Rodgers to throw on third and one. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. It goes as a gain of eight and it moves the chains. And they pick up a first down, and that came out of the fullback position. But as you and I both know, that doesn't necessarily mean that's a fullback playing in that spot. Well, times have changed, right? The old school fullback doesn't really exist anymore. We're not getting that same player out of college with all the spread off. Not very many pros. <laughs> We're having to make do in the NFL and put guys in that spot who emulate it, but aren't necessarily that position. Now Rodgers. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. On any pass, uh, uh, anyone out to the football is going to be conscious that it's probably going to be contested. And all, yeah, all that. To drops. Mm -hmm. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And that one incomplete. Had some position but couldn't hold on. And all that. Up fourth down. And when all else fails as a defender, when you're not there... I you're block Beatles in the city, you're confiscated. Exactly what we saw there. Money. Big play shot taken by the offense. Unfortunately, it ended in a big drop. Here we go on fourth down with Rodgers. And off his back foot, he'll heave this one deep. It is incomplete. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And the Patriots take over. They're going to have terrific field position. So here are the Patriots now. They get ready for their first possession of half number two. They'll try and get the running game going with Bell. Room here to run. And he's brought down. 12 yards there as they move the chains. How many times I'm feeling it's beyond. It's beyond all that. Make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through the ball before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary. That led to a really nice game. Three yards on the pickup. Yes. Second down. Tough day. It's not 6:30 yet. Been that way the entire game. Yeah. Uh, girl, it's a real crowd pleaser. Smile out, and you know we're gonna ease up. Ready to throw on second down. And this will complete to Will Fuller. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. An ex teammate used to tell me all the time I hate experienced quarterbacks oh because my. no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was. I am the one that only... I am the... I am the one that only one that... Again, it's Bell. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. The 6 yards on the pickup, and it leaves him with a first and goal. Not too many more ideal situations at second and 2 in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. They come out here in the eye. And from the 9-yard line now, it's first and goal. And they'll get him down here at about the five-yard line. Give him four on the carry there. It's second and goal. So that run gets him. Black Beatles in the home. city. We'll come. Yeah, guys. Uh, I'm. I lost. Crowd pleaser. Small world in the end zone neither.
you that got no respect on the streets. Challenge awaits. Can you fulfill the okay. solo challenge? Time to find out. It is indeed the solo challenge. Wait, what's the? Hang on. Let me see what the off thing is. The challenges it says rush for a touchdown on the first play. On the first play. Okay. Oh. 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 I thought I like on like the first play all the way from there. Like, oh god! Oh, my god. Here's the first carry now for oh first try! Take it into the end zone. So that does it. Put this one in the books. A successful Madden Ultimate Team solo challenge. See you next time. Ah, oh, it does. Challenge is in front of you. Do you accept it? I hope so. Keep the game on. Play this the quarter, challenge. this will... solo challenge, Madden Ultimate Team. On first down, it's score. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. A one-yard gain could look like a disaster, but it all depends on how the game is going. Is it a series of one-yard gains running the ball? If that's the case, you might have to start thinking about throwing it a little bit more. But if it's just the occasional one-yard run, hey, congratulations to the defense. They won that one. Come back and get them the next time. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. We always like to talk about defense in terms of levels. First level defensive line, second level line, I like Donald third Trump. level defensive Trump. back. Trump. On that run, that was what we call a first level run, no. and it was stopped by a second level player. On third down, they'll run with Gore. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to leave them with a fourth down. 
Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no game. Rodgers going to throw. Dennis is in. So, Charles, why in the world do you take that risk there? It doesn't make a whole lot of sense on the surface. I've been around enough of these coaches and, and, and enough of these meetings along the way. Sometimes they're so confident in a play call that they don't care about the situation. They think that that play, at that time, they're going to run it and pick up whatever they need. So maybe that's what influenced him there. I'm guessing because I have no other explanation. Yeah, that's tough. Own side of the field, that chunk of yardage to pick up. Head scratcher. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We'll come back to Tampa after this timeout. Here's Luck now on second down. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. That was a classic example of trying to run with the ball without securing the catch. He was thinking about those rack yards instead of making the catch first and then taking off. this will even nope it doesn't even get there well short and this score will stay right where it is everything looked good good snap good hold sometimes though the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it and this one winds up no good here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field and last time they were very fortunate this offense they went for it on four turned it over in their own territory but the other guys held up we didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? That was planned going into it, not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold but He up. trusted his defense. Trusted his defense very much, and I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own side. Well, we'll see what his offense can do. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three Frank guys Gore. Up, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because usually five on three. And then here's a timeout called by the Colts on the defensive side of the ball. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. So on fourth down, here's the veteran left-footed punter Donnie Jones to kick it away. Yes. And how about this? Okay. And this is All right guys, I'll end it here. Hope you guys enjoyed it and see you guys later.